Yes, you got that right. I'm a tow head and I'm never going to change. The halal turkey from Midamar and I got it from uh, Al Rahma Market on Houston Levy and it, everybody knows Midamar is a halal company and at least every Muslim does who lives in the U.S. <laughs> if they eat halal, they know. And I'm going to cook her on the grill and I'm using the Tony Chachery's Creole seasoning because it's good on everything. So I'm going to season the turkey with this and and cook it on the grill. <laughs> this is something bold and I've never done this before. So there it is all seasoned up. <coughs> the inside of the turkey, I left the neck in. I'm not sure what I should put here. Maybe just close it. I'm using an old pan that I don't use anymore in the house and use it on the grill. And then I put this grate that I did I don't use for anything. And then I put this um, rack here that goes in one of my pans, but I want to use it in the grill. And this is what I'm going to cook my turkey on. Okay, I'm going to put some garlic in this cavity here. Just because. There, I put that skin under the wing. So maybe it will stay and not dry out in there. Okay, I gave the grill a cleaning and it's ready for fire down there. I put those um, pans with holes in the bottom to catch ash and I used Dollar Tree um, cooling racks I think. I think they're called cooling racks. I have them down there to build the fire on and this is a custom or anyway, um, handmade uh, smoker, smoker style grill. Um, it's a drum and they just changed it to be a grill. And there's the tray that goes in after the fire's made and then I'll slide the turkey in. I got some Kingsford um, apple wood um, charcoal and I got some Kingsford um, charcoal lighter. That lighter I got from Walgreens so I was able to use um, my points and I got it for two dollars after my points came off and it is a pint, a quart. So I ripped up a cardboard box that was um, out here and I'm going to use it at the bottom when it's underneath the uh, bricks. Okay, I put the coal in there on top of the cardboard. Now I'm going to put the um, lighter fluid on it. Make sure it starts really good. And then, once it starts burning really good, I'll put the tray in. I'm going to put the turkey in when, when the coals are not, in, not flaming anymore. Okay, let's see if it'll start quick. Use the little lighter from the Dollar Tree. Yep, starting. So applewood uh, charcoal. 
there it is. I put the grate in. I uh, scraped it off as a lot, and I am not going to put the turkey directly on that. It's rusty, so I. That's why I got that other pan ready. Now, when the, as soon as the flames die down a little, I'm going to put the turkey on. All right, he's ready to go. Go in the grill. Now, I can't really decide if I should leave the tray in there or just take the tray, the grates off and, and leave it on the grates with no pan. I think so. <laughs> then again, I'm not sure. I guess I'll leave it. It's all smoky. It's closed. It's going to stay closed for until I pick up the kids and bring them home. Then I'll check it. It's going to be about an, an hour. Okay, it's in there, still yes, smoking. And, and we just came back from school. Yes, just picked I up the kids. I'm in first grade and my brother is like, yeah, they know what's wrong. I'm smelling turkey. <laughs> Let me open that and see. Is it hot? Um, Smoke hurts my asthma. Hassan, could you run in and get me a pot holder from the kitchen? I smell turkey. <laughs> it's smoking. This is what is considered a smoker grill. And it's. I handled the turkey in the traditional Memphis barbecue way, which is dry rub. They just sprinkle on the dry rub seasonings and then they eat it with no sauce. So I don't know if we'll eat it without sauce or not, but. I'm going to eat mine with sauce. You put oh, some you sauce on it? Uh-huh. But is it spicy sauce? No. Woo! <laughs> He's turning golden in there. Mama, wow. <laughs> Mama, are we going to He's turning golden for sure. Oh, my gosh. Wow, look at that turkey. That looks like a chicken. Does it? It's a, it's a large chicken, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wait, so is this turkey or chicken? Let it cook a little longer. Okay. Hi, sweet baby. What is her name now? Ghoul Trooper. Her name is Ghoul Trooper. She is named after a Fortnite character. Yeah, it's a girl. <laughs> She's a sweetie. She's gotten so big. <laughs> She's a sweetie. <laughs> Hi, love. Hi, dear. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? You told me to get them. Yes, I did. Now, now I need them so I can flip the turkey. Wait. <laughs> oh yes, it's a wasp nest up there. We have to tell Daddy to move them. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I think I need to flip this dude. Yeah, let me see this little girl. She's all cooking. Okay, I just simply turned it around. I'm gonna let it cook a little longer. But the smell <laughs> is amazing. Uh, cooking cauliflower with the potatoes. It's a bag of frozen cauliflower because I think that works the best. And Going to boil it together and mash it. Put a generous amount of salt in there. And now I'm going to go check the turkey again. See how it's really, really perfect? I see the garlic in there in the cavity. Well, what? I'm fixing to take it out now. Here, hold this and don't record my knee, just the turkey. Okay, those holes are very red in there. I wish I had another turkey thought out to go in. Okay, there he is. Perfect. And done. Okay, Hassan, turn it off. That's uh, Memphis barbecue turkey. <laughs> Memphis barbecue style. Wait, take a picture of me with a chicken, okay? Okay. Or barbecue, whatever. Now, I'm going to put the turkey in this platter 
and then I'm going to slice it. Okay, I have never done this before. I've never made a turkey on the grill before. So now, I put it on this platter, and I'm going to slice it, and I'm going to see how it, how I like it, how it turned out in the middle. Um, this is a learning experience for me, so wish me luck. <laughs> okay, the wings are off. I want that wing. You want it? Okay. Okay, there's um, Hassan's turkey wing, and he wanted hot sauce to dip it in. Although traditionally, Memphis style barbecue doesn't have any dip. But that's okay, he can have it. How is your crazy sauce? Good. <laughs> it can barely even taste the spice. Oh really? What does it taste like mostly? Ketchup. Ketchup? <laughs> well, what did she put in that? She put all kinds of crazy stuff what? in there. Mustard? How's the turkey? Yeah, she put mustard. How's the turkey with hot sauce? Perfect. Perfect? Wow. wow. It's the best. I hate most me, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it champion? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very famous um, mm -hmm. style. Yeah, here, drink. No, water, water. Water? Okay. So, what do you think of it, Zakia? Okay. Really good? Wow, I'm happy I made this then. Everyone so far says it's delicious. Yes, these two I little ones. Okay. But it is delicious. Yeah, okay, good. I want the skin. You don't like the skin? Sure you can take, take the off. skin off. You don't have to eat it. I love the skin on chicken. Yeah. Yeah, me too. The skin is like... <sighs> yeah. Wow, I'm so happy <laughs> that they like it. So they are the judge and the jury and whatever their opinion is, is the truth because <laughs> it, it's very hard to make these kids happy with food. They are very picky. I like mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. Wait. <laughs> Wait, do you need help with that or you got it? You can eat it with no sauce or you can dip it in Zakia's sauce. The hot sauce. Bye guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and what is that? Oh, that's a turkey. Post yes. notifications. Yeah. Have fun. No dead dead. Bye. Zakia put some Catalina French dressing, some spicy ranch, some uh, ketchup like and mustard, <laughs> and and uh, lemon juice and was there anything else in there? <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Ketchup and mustard. Yes. <laughs> So she has some crazy sauce over there, and, she, and it looks like the kids like that sauce. Yeah, every day you <laughs> Mm-hmm, you like it, you make it. Mom, it's, it's your recipe. You... <laughs> That's what, why are you flying? But let us eat everything before you go, okay? Guys, okay. you should definitely make you some grilled turkey. Yeah. I love making it. I love making it if it makes the kids so happy. And I okay. Okay, never mind. That's his song. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Wait, Mom. Mm -hmm. You have to make a video. Of Can I try the cranberry juice? Could you pass it over here? Yeah. Mm, cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. It might help with spiciness. I'm trying three. Okay, look, I'm gonna try this again. It's not sour? It's good. Okay. I'm gonna put a lot on it because I'm gonna see what's going Seriously. Okay, just turn it down. You have Just no put your mouth over the plate so in case you drop drip a little. Ah. What's wrong? Wait, we can't bite that piece. Why? Does it have bone in it? Yeah. Take the bone out. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait! Yes. You 
Well, I didn't forget. <laughs> How am I not hitting you? I didn't. Tell them the delicious recipe. Well, all it is is a turkey with a uh, Tony Chichichiri uh, seasoning on it, cooked in the grill for hours. <laughs> hours and hours. <laughs> how many hours? Two hours. But I would like to do it slower next time. In the slow cooker? No. In the, in the grill, but slower. Or should I say, not so savage? Okay, whatever. I'm still gonna eat, so you should still record, okay, Mom? Okay. I'm very sorry. Can I eat a spoon? Yeah, if you some meat on it. I'm done with this, give me one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Thank you for watching, Wait. everyone. Really? But it'll be very long. And plus, oh, after all this, we're gonna have some happy cats. <laughs> wait, wait, give me this. Yep. Yeah. Wow, I've never tried turkey like this. Mom! Hmm? Can I show the fan something? Okay. I want to show the fan something. What? So guys, this soap smells really good. Like, it smells it? like It smells like um, a grape sucker. Yes, and it came from the Dollar Tree. Yep. It's been, in, go buy it's been in my closet for a while. Smell. Mmm, beautiful. Excuse me, doesn't it smell like grape sucker? Mm -hmm. Hassan, don't forget to give your bones to the cats, your bones and skins. Go for it. They'll love it. I'll give the cats mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Since the cats are part of our family, but if you got most families have the same taste buds, so. Mm hmm. It's your taste buds. Dad, I'm done. Okay, thank you for watching, everyone. Wait, wait, wait! Hell no! <laughs> bye bye. We're gonna give our cats this. Mm hmm. Cats are gonna get the leftovers. So, there is my bird. I flipped it over finally. So, get that, I flipped you the bird. Now I'm going to slice it up. Okay. There it is. I took the bones out. I took the meat off the bones. The legs are here. Two legs. A bunch of breast meat and back meat. And this is for the cats. We'll eat the leftovers. Okay, it's the cat's turn to give us their verdict. You gave them all. Do they like it or not? They have all the bones and skin. And chicken legs. Yeah. Leave that for the cats, honey. Don't touch it. I'm getting, I'm getting little pieces of chicken off. So. Their little ma mouths are very small. You can go inside. I, I took some meat off for you. <laughs> are they happy? <laughs> They look happy. Come on, everybody, come have some dinner. <laughs> and there's Miss Chloe. She's the newest member of our feline gang, feline family. I can't. I don't know if you how well you can see her. She's there in the shade. Yeah, she's right here. No, that's not Chloe. That's Shadow. Chloe's behind you. Oh. Yeah, sweet Chloe. <laughs> And the cats have decided and they and agreed that it's delicious and it's the mm. best turkey they've ever eaten. 
<laughs> Look at them chewing on that. <laughs> give it, give her, give it to her. She's gonna chew it off. Maybe Miss Chloe's full. She might have ate already. Because remember, she already there was already some bones out here before, on the wings. Maybe Miss Chloe ate most of that. <clears throat> so the other cats are hungry now. So they will want to eat. <laughs> God bless them. So beautiful. <laughs> Is he gonna eat that skin? <sighs> They're so sweet. Don't throw it in the ground. He'll come get it. He always comes. Leave it in their bowl. <laughs> Zakia, I like how you listen. <laughs> They're all happy. <laughs> we swept and we cleaned this backyard. It's We've done the spring cleaning and there are the chickens over there. They're coming. They're heading this way because every time I bring food out, they come. <laughs> I think there's three roosters and two hens or something. There used to be more hens, but some dogs killed some of them. Bad puppies. Yeah, we're chickens. Look, she's just, she just sitting in one position and eating. Yeah, she looks a little lazy. Yeah. But I think she's not that hungry. Look at the daddy cat. He's scared to come up here until the other cats are done. You got scared when you got when you talk to him like that. And these are old blankets that we're no longer going to use and we're gonna let the cats have them to sleep on. <laughs> Where did he go? I still see heat waves rising from that grill. I would have liked to put more on it. Some, uh, another turkey to keep in the fridge already roasted would be nice but that's okay I have more of those apple wood apple wood bricks and I read some I read something about how to do it correctly and it says that to call it a smoker the fire has to be on one side and the meat on the other side so I could put the the fire on the right side and have the meat on the left side and um, the heat would travel towards the two openings. There's an opening on the bottom left side and at the and, and a little chimney at the top on the on the left side. So the heat would travel towards those exits. So the next time I'm going to have the fire on the left on the right side and see how it works. I'm experimenting. This was my first turkey and it turned out delicious. So um, rest assured and believe me, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. I better go check my mashed potatoes now and see if they're done. Mashed potatoes and cauliflower mixed together. All right, I'm going. I just thought you'd like to see how the cats are enjoying the leftovers. Giblets are about ready for some salt and some pepper. That's how I usually put in giblet gravy, salt and pepper. Because you want to, I want to enhance the turkey flavor, not cover it up. And these are ready for mashing. Um, potatoes and cauliflower mixed together. All ready to mash. Melting some of the coconut, coconut oil plant-based butter. And I'm going to put some crushed garlic in there. I really just smash them and I don't really want chunks of garlic in the mashed potatoes but I, I want the flavor so I'm going to warm up the garlic and infuse the butter with garlic flavor before I pour it into the mashed potatoes. Okay, I use this uh, Priano Parmesan cheese fancy shredded and I mix it in there maybe about a half a cup or two-thirds cup and it's 
what, what was left in this pack from the other day. I put it in the mashed potatoes with mashed ca uh, cauliflower together. Now this is melting. I'm going to get a fork and help it. So I didn't. It's a spoon. It's not a fork. <laughs> well, let me turn that on. I turned it off and forgot about that. So when it simmers, I don't want it to boil. I just want it to warm up and liquefy and warm up the garlic and then the wonderful aroma of the garlic will infuse into the butter and the, at that point I'm going to add it to the mashed potatoes. Okay, for the gravy, I'm going to put a little of this Badea Complete in because it gives it a wonderful flavor. It, it flavors everything perfectly and wonderfully. I was going to put just salt and pepper, but then I thought of padilla, and I thought that would taste good in gravy. Okay, as soon as the butter started simmering, I turned the burner off, and that will be enough for this. We don't want this garlic to turn brown at all. I just want the flavor to be infused into the butter before I pour it into the mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm. That garlic flavor is in there already. I'm going to take it now. Okay. There it is. And I just pushed the garlic up to the edge and now I'm pouring the butter in. So there. This garlic can be used for something else, but I'm just going to park it there for now. So I have some no sugar added planet oat, oat milk that I got on clearance at uh, Kroger, I believe. And I'm going to put the, oh no, it's vanilla. I'm not going to use it. I think I have to use the cashew milk. I have cashew milk. Okay, I'm going to use unsweetened original cashew milk, no vanilla. <laughs> I don't want vanilla. So I'm going to pour a little in there and mix it and and then pour a little and mix it again until I'm sure I have enough. Perfect. Now, I used some cashew milk and some of the discarded water from boiling the, veg the potatoes and cauliflower. Um, because you don't have to have so much milk. And I did use a little bit of Parmesan um, cheese, but that was the only dairy that's in here. Everything else was plant-based. This is uh, going to be a slurry. My mom always made a slurry, and it was always delicious gravy. Even though I know that technically a lot of people prefer um, a r making gravy from a roux, but I grew up eating it with a slurry. And I lived just fine. I lived to tell about it. It didn't kill me to eat gravy that was made from a slurry. So, this is white whole wheat flour. It's, I just had it on hand, so I'm going to use it. I did go and put that leftover garlic into the gravy because now that I <laughs> am working on the gravy, I got wild. <laughs> I just, I thought I'm going to keep it basic, but then uh, little mischief came into my brain. So I put the garlic in there. The chicken, I'm going to give the pieces of turkey to the cats because they will like that. We're not going to eat the neck, we're not going to eat the giblets, but we are just going to have the gravy and the cats will have the rest. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the week. Deal with it. Don't mess with the mama bear. 
Thank you for watching.